All right. Well, as you can hear, my miners going on in the background. Uh, got a few of them back here. I'm gonna turn them off. They're my heaters. But purpose of the video. Little by little, as I upload these videos, yeah, some of them are more or less nonsensical. But I've been trying to fill around where I want to niche myself inside of my YouTube channel, and it seems like more and more I've been working there. And I think I've kind of found the turning point because I thought I found it once, and I, you know, brushed it off. Thought I found it twice, and I brushed it off. And and that's the third or fourth time it's hit me, and, uh, it's, like, something that I think about a lot. Question and ponder, you know? Try to discuss it with others, and it's very rare I find other people that are interested. So is, for the, as far as here, obviously nobody's really looking for these videos, but if you stumble upon it, maybe I'll bring interest to you, and if you're like-minded, great. I know we're far and few. So... As for my niche, why is life? And it's, for me, pondering and understanding things in life. I guess people would say philosophy, which it's probably there. <laughs> I haven't went to school for any philosophy classes. But it's, people have theories of, oh, gods, well, let's, like, let's just take that out of the picture. Let's take that out of the picture and then ponder it. And then what? Okay, evolution. No, let's take that out too. It's like, okay. Aliens. Nope, they're gone. None of them. Now, now start thinking. Okay, well, we came from cavemen. Oh, you look, you're going back to evolution. Slow it down, buddy. Get rid of everything you've ever been told and everything you know. I started this little ponder on my last birthday. It was in August. And I told myself, I was like, you know, you you follow things, but why? I was told something by somebody when I was younger. And they said, hey, you know, you're a really good artist. Draw me something. So, you know, I'm like, well, what do you want drawn? He's like, think of something. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not really good at thinking of things like that. He's like, you know, no artist is, apparently. Visionaries are great. He's like, but they can't draw. <laughs> Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? He's like, everybody who's a good, good drawer, artist, and so on, they, they can't really think of anything. They just do. They just go. And it just happens. And if something does pop in their mind, it generally just, it's gone. It's not really there. And what he told me was, you can't draw anything that you haven't ever seen before. And I'm like, well, no, you 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 have a point <laughs> and it's true you know in some form of likingness um everything everything that's really ever been designed it's, it's it's come from a ponderance of something which came from something that we've seen before and he's like okay so that means how were you designed i'm like oh <laughs> that's deep <laughs> you know so I mean, if you're connecting what I'm saying, it's like, how were you designed? It's like, stop and think about that. How are you designed? I mean, your DNA puts a picture together, but how, how? How does it see what it's doing? Like, oh, it's in self signals on it. I know, I know, but but how does it double check for the finished product? It's like saying, like, hey, if I throw these two dice down a well at this speed, with this much air pressure in here, at this velocity, turning them at this rate of degree, they should land exactly like this. It's like, okay, how deep is the well? Well, we didn't really measure. Hypothetically, it should be this deep. It's like, okay, well, it's already one slightly false thing. Okay, well, how do you know it, it dug at the speed? Well, we don't. Okay, well, that's... To our theory and our calculations, it should, should go at this rate. It's like, but how do you know? Okay, well, that's already two false backs, which now is pretty much a given that 
it's going to be highly inaccurate. So then they go, okay, now with those two things and, you know, known, you know, we can just drop the dice and then they're going to land like this. And it's like, okay, well, how do you know? It's like, we don't. But to our calculations, it's like, okay, so now you got three blinds, triple blind. It's over. You, that's, you're just being crazy now. But that's basically how we do most things. It's weird. But that's how, you know, basically your DNA works to build you, how cells get around and do their thing. I mean, it's kind of what we do too, you know? It's like, okay. You line a room. Sound, sound seems ambient. You know? That's one checklist. And then it's touching things. Okay, so I know there's something here. You start touching walls. You're like, okay, I'm definitely in a room. I'm in a room. Okay, I know I'm in a room. And then you've got vision. You're like, okay, I see I'm in a room and you're feeling and you can hear. Now that's that's already three forms of that's all you need. That's it. You're in a room. But where is that room? It's as far as you go. And that's pretty much what the cells are doing. They're like, okay, I can see from here to here. You know, whether it's a feel of vibration, a magnetic field, I don't know what it is. I don't know how cells work like that. Which I probably shouldn't be explaining it here, but, but you know, do they have thought process? Probably not. I don't know. They're doing something somehow. How do they know? You know, they go with a DNA has a, you know, instructions. It's like, you know, that sounds good to me. To you're like, oh, it, the cells down there, it's just like, do, 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 do. Hey guys, I'm new to the body. What do I do? It's like, here's an instruction manual, buddy. It's like, who wrote this? It's like, we don't know. We just give everybody a copy when they're born. You know, it's like, how do the cells know? Like, how do they know? Like, yeah, I mean, you, you know, I probably sound like, yeah, I'm a millennial. I might sound like a millennial, but I'm like, oh, that kid's stupid. Obviously the cells know. It's like, yes. Yes, I do know. You were told the same thing as me. They were given instructions. Anyway. If, uh, if you made it this far in the video, you see where my pondering's gone. Now, it's just a small little tidbit of how deep I want to go into things and question things. And I think I can say that this is, uh, what is life? But, uh, seeing things in my opinion so things can go from anything anything such as like foods cultures people objects you know you really start to think about things so I talk to people about these things and they just brush it off nobody wants to hear them but it, it it seriously concerns me. I mean, it, it shouldn't, but it's like... It's like if your kid came and asked you, you know, Daddy, Daddy, the phone, it says the battery 96, battery 96, what's battery 96? And you're like, that sounds stupid. <laughs> Look, son, what it is is, uh, the battery's 96%, that means it's going down. Well, what happens when it hits the end? It's like, it dies. It's like, oh. Well, how do we stop that? What does it do? It's like, you can't use the phone anymore. You gotta charge it. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. So how do I stop it from dying? It's like, oh, well, you plug it up and you start again. It's like, oh, okay. So, so now you're like, okay, no worries. I'll just charge it. Once the power goes out, the kid did think that far. My dad goes, oh, well, the power will never go out. And you'd be looking at him like, no, you're crazy. The power can, does, and will go out eventually. And, you know, in the back of his mind, he's like, yeah, it will. But, you know, we'll be okay for the day without power. 
Okay, so that already sounds a little bit like, hey man, you gotta really stay prepped. Maybe get a generator or something. But in, like, my conversations when I say I'm talking to people, I'm just dragging it out. It's just it's too much to connect. I don't know. Probably sound crazy most of the time. It's like me saying, hey, your phone. Yeah, it has 96%. They're like, yeah, it's good. It's nice and charged. It's like, yeah. What happens if it dies? They're like, why would it die? Because the battery goes down. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, what do you do if it gets, if it dies? Oh, you can't use it no more. It's like, oh, okay. So, how are you going to charge it? Why would I want to charge it? It's not going to die. It's like, what, what do you mean? Where you're not worried about charging? What? No. And then you ask them, like, so, so you don't have a charger for it? It's like, oh, no, they don't make those. Okay, sensibly, if a manufacturer is making a phone that lasted that long of a charge, like, let's say it had, like, a three-month charge, it'd be insane. But in the back of your mind, you know that in three months, that thing is gone. Forever. You know, it's like, you wouldn't think, oh, I'll get another phone, but what if... See what I mean? It's like, well, what if there isn't another phone? But, I mean, assumably, we find ways. We've always found ways to do things. We adapt. It's just how it is. You know, and, uh... But people just don't find things concerning. And, and, I mean, don't confuse that to be worried. You know. Worry is a sense in a state of paranoia. It's like, no, I'm not really worried about things. It's just concerning. It's like... It's like somebody saying, hey, are you hungry? It's like, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, I'll give... I'm gonna get you food. Name something you want. You know, like, I'll give you anything. You're like, oh, anything? All right. Anything. The fact that, that person's saying anything should concern you. It's like, there's a catch here. That's concerning. You're not worrying. You're not fearful. It's like, hmm, something's strange. But you're just like, no, you don't question it. People truly don't question it. Why? It's like, okay. I want a pot of gold to eat. It's like, that's not food. It says who? It's an element. It fits in somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. And I want it to be 30 feet tall. And the guy goes, okay, 30 feet tall. Well, I'm going to ratio it scale. Here you go. Here's your pot of gold. And it's this itty bitty 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 thing. And it says, of gold. It's a pot of gold. It has of gold in it. It just literally has the words of gold. It is the pot of gold. Like, it's a name. Gold. Here is your pot of gold. You got your pot of gold. It's 30 feet tall because the feet are literal feet. Like feet, our feet, scaled down to like grains of sand. So the man gave you a pot of gold 30 feet tall. He said, look, and just like you said, good enough for you to eat. Weird the way words work. Got a question language too. So, with this video, I'm not trying to make things go past 15 minutes, but I think that's what I want to do. I want to ask questions and try to have them answered. And if you're interested in this, hey, subscribe. I think that's what I'm going to do for now on. So, let's discover the world and everything outside of whatever this is. So. If you got questions too, I mean, just drop them below. Until next time, let's discover.